Christ is he on earth right now? And it's written by Urban Baxter. The Bible prophecies a powerful politician will soon arise on the earth. This politician will end up dominating the entire world. He's referred to in scripture as the beast or the antichrist. One of the prophecies about the antichrist and his kingdom is found in Daniel 7, 7 through 9. After this, I saw in the night visions and behold a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly. And it had great iron teeth. It devoured and break in pieces and stamp the residue with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. And it had ten horns. I considered the horns. And behold, there came up among them another little horn, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. And behold, in this horn were eyes, like the eyes of man, and a mouth speaking great things. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Most of the Bible prophecies are written in symbols. Almost without exception, the symbols are clearly explained for us by the Bible itself. Many times this is done in the same chapter where the original prophecy is given. This is true about this prophecy of the Antichrist and his kingdom. In Daniel 7.23, we are told a beast in Bible prophecy represents a kingdom or nation. In Daniel 7.24, it states the ten horns represent ten kings that will arise. So what can we learn from Daniel 7.7-9? 7, 7 One, the beast described here is a kingdom, nation, or empire. Two, this kingdom will be an alliance of ten kings or political leaders. Three, this Ten Nation Alliance will be the last empire before the Ancient of Days, Jesus Christ, abolishes all the world's governments, replacing them with his promised kingdom of God upon earth. Number four, after the birth of the Ten Nation Alliance, another king, ruler, will come up among the ten, uprooting three of them. He will have a mouth speaking great things. In Daniel's 7 19 and 20 the prophet daniel asked to know more about the beast its ten horns and the last horn that uprooted three of the ten then i would know the truth of the fourth beast which is diverse from all the others exceeding dreadful whose teeth were of iron and his nails of brass which devoured break up in pieces and stamped the residue with his feet and the ten horns that were in his head and of the other which came up and before whom fell even of that horn that had eyes and a mouth that spake very great things whose look was more stout than his fellows. In response to his request, Daniel was given much more information in Daniel 7, 21 through 27. I beheld, and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them until the Ancient of Days came and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth which shall be diverse from all kingdoms and shall devour the whole earth and shall tread it down and break it in pieces and the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings that shall rise 
shall arise. And another shall rise after them, and he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and a dividing of time. But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it until the end. And the kingdom and the domination and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. We learn many important things from this passage. One, the horn king to uproot, I'm sorry, go back to number one. One, the horn king that uproots three will make war against the saints. Two, his persecution of the saints shall continue until the ancient of days Jesus Christ comes. Other scriptures call this last day ruler the beast or the Antichrist. Three, the ten horned kingdom led by the Antichrist will devour the whole earth. Four, the persecution of the saints known as the great tribulation will continue for a time, times and dividing of time, three and a half years. Five, at the end of the three and a half years of tribulation, the Antichrist will be destroyed. Six, at this time, the saints will be given the kingdom. Their kingdom will be an everlasting kingdom. Is the Ten Nation Alliance on Earth today? For many years, prophecy students have looked with anticipation for the birth of the prophecy Ten Nation Alliance from which the Antichrist will come. This Ten Nation Alliance may have been born on November 7, 2018. Emmanuel Macron who became president of France in 2017, resents American domination of NATO, the defense league that has projected Europe since the end of World War II. He deeply resents American President Donald Trump because of his promotion of national sovereignty and his opposition of global governance. Consequently, Macron began to promote what he called the Coalition of the Willing. Macron's effort came to fruition on November 7, 2018. The Daily Star out of Paris reported, a coalition of European militaries ready to react to crises near the continent's borders was launched Wednesday with Finland becoming the 10th country to join amid calls by French President Emmanuel Macron for a real European army. The European Intervention Initiative took official shape in Paris after months of negotiations with Germany, who France wants at the center of the force. Germany, Belgium, Britain, Denmark, Estonia, the Netherlands, Spain, and Portugal have all given the green light for the French-led move. Is this the Ten Nation Alliance prophesied in Daniel 7, 7 through 8? We can't say with absolute certainty at this time. However, the Ten Nation Alliance must come out of Europe since the Bible prophecies the kingdom of the Antichrist will be the reborn Holy Roman Empire and all the nations of the new European intervention initiative come from Europe. If this new ten nation alliance is the one prophesied in Daniel 7, 7 through 8, then we know the Antichrist will rise up among these ten nations. Is the Antichrist on earth right now? Because of the convergence of so many prophecies that are given for the last days, it appears almost certain the Antichrist is on earth now and waiting in these shadows for his time to appear. The birth of the Ten Nation Union on November 7, 2018 adds to our belief 
We are now living in the end times. Okay. Thank you for watching.